first of all, Jürgen, uh, there are five games to go this season. Is it a case that you have to be perfect to have a chance of a top four finish? Yeah, that's easy to say. <laughs> and even then, it's not, it's not, uh, there's no guarantee for it. I said that already before the last two games, I think. Uh, we threw them both, so that didn't help really. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure there is still a chance, but we will, we, will, we will try to make sure that if there is one, we will be there. But that's clear. Uh, this is the first time we've had a chance to speak to you. Uh, since the events that happened in Manchester on uh, Sunday. Uh, did what you see there surprise you? And can you give us an insight into what it was like for you and your players? Oh, we were sitting in the hotel. We had no idea. We came downstairs an hour before the team meeting roundabout. The, the, um, when we thought we will have the team meeting and um, then... Our team manager told me uh, that we that there uh, are some problems um, at, at Old Trafford, and it's not clear if we will be in time. Um, yeah, then I prepared the meeting. Um, five minutes before the meeting, I got told, yeah, we will be in time. So we did the team meeting, and after that, we got told um, there will be some delay. Then it's prob the problem is you cannot send the players back to the room or whatever. You just have to sit there and around in a hotel lobby. Um, and because it could happen that they tell you, okay, now you can go and then we have to go. So that was not, it's not cool, but uh, there are bigger problems in the world out there. Um, and then we got told that uh, um, the game is cancelled, postponed, whatever we want. Um, yeah, that was it. We saw a few pictures from Old Trafford. We watched a little bit tally in that time to, to get a, an idea about what's going on there. And um, that's it. Am I surprised um, that these kind of things happen? No, I'm I'm a I'm a absolute believer in democracy. It means I'm 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 happy that people want to tell their opinion. That's completely fine. But I know that in these in situations like that, it's not doesn't happen too often that nobody get hurt. And that's why I said weeks, a week before, I think already when all the pundits were going and asking for pro protests and stuff like that, that we have to all to be careful and to calm down to, to ask for the right things. Because um, uh, I don't know exactly um, um, what happened there, but um, I heard some policemen got um, injured and these kind of things should not happen for sure not. They should not... Um, um, break down the doors and stuff like this. So to 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 tell your opinion, to tell to tell the world what you think about some things, that's completely fine, um, as long as it's completely peaceful. And it was, as far as I know, not completely peaceful. And then, um, yeah, and it's not right anymore. The fixture has been rearranged for next Thursday. It means that Manchester United have to play three games in five days. Do you have any sympathy for? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his players and were Liverpool consulted about the rearrangement of the date? Consulted mean that we had a say? We, we, we were, we were um, informed about the process, but not, we had nothing, we had nothing to do with it really. Um, so yes, of course, I feel sympathy for him. It's, it's not uh, something, that's not how it should be, uh, but it's not good for us as well, to be honest. We would have, I would have preferred to play the game last week. Um, now we have um, um, five games in the last two weeks, so that's not really cool as well. But it is like how it is. So um, nothing to to complain about or whatever. It's just the situation. Thank you, Kave. We've got Mandy from Premier League Productions. Hey, Jurgen. Hi. Hi. At the start of the season, I asked you what you thought the challenges would be in retaining a Premier League title. And you said you weren't sure at the time because you were just going to fight. So now looking back, what, what would you say those challenges are? Oh, well, that's easy for us. We had um, too many injuries on key positions. I know people think that's an excuse, but you can... So I've, I'm pretty sure I said that already, but it's like in the moment when we lost our full defense, um, um, we can let me say it like this: you, you it feels like felt like you break your leg, um, but that's okay. You can still limp with that. But then we we, we had to make our midfielders um, um, in, to transform them into defenders. 
then we broke pretty much our spine on top of that and then it's difficult to move and that was a little bit you you remember that we in the beginning when we had the problems we were still kind of of winning um we were in a kind of a good position but we always knew it's a long season to come and uh, if anything else happens then we have been we will struggle and that's what happened in the moment when you then um we, 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 we to be to be in the position we were like two years before we needed to be nearly perfect and the situation needed to be really nearly perfect and that um in a moment when when it's not perfect for us then the league is too strong to to stay could we have been now could we be now instead instead of seventh um fifth or fourth yes of course no doubt about that um we should have done better than in in in, in specific moments but you asked me for what was the challenge to deal with the amount of injury was the challenge we obviously couldn't deal as good as we wanted over the whole season and for you aside from the injuries a lot of managers that i've spoken to that have won the title in the past say they've actually learned more from the difficult times have you this season learned a lot and and what have you learned I was most of the time not champion in my career, so it means um, I, I, I try to learn always. So, um, yes, but of course, we well, did I learn a lot? Um, yeah, for sure. Some things, some things you want to learn, some things you don't want to experience and not to learn, it, but that's uh, how it is. Um, and the players learn for sure a lot as well. So that's clear. Um, but um, we believe that's the plan, that's the idea that we use our new experience for, for the future, for the next season especially. Um, and But you will have to wait until then uh, that we can show we really got it. Thank you, Mandy. We'll go to James Mountford from Oops and Side and then James from TalkSport after that. James. Hello, Jürgen. Um, good afternoon. I just wonder what the injury situation was, please. And um, Jordan Henderson, is, is he any nearer to, to getting fully fit? The injury situation is nothing really new. Um, we have a few, what's the saying? Bumps and bruises. Bumps and bruises. <laughs> so the late decision, we have to make late decisions in a few more, in a few, on a few positions um, until tomorrow. Um, Hendo, uh, while we are sitting here, Hendo is running outside. That's what I can say. Um, nothing else. Was not in team training yet. Um, and that's it pretty much. Um, just on Southampton, what sort of a challenge are you expecting? Uh, they got a, a good draw against Leicester with, with 10 men. Yeah, it shows absolute character of the team eh, and of the coach. So um, that's, a, that's a proper unit. And we, we played there, obviously, when, when we lost the game. Um, we didn't play that bad. We, we couldn't really finish situations off, which is uh, a little bit the story of the season. But um, the game was incredibly intense. They defend with all they have. They attack with all they have. That's a that's a well tuned machine, pressing and counter pressing machine. Um, so that's tricky. They are always very lively. It's all set up um, in a specific way um, that they, they everybody knows exactly what he has to do. These kind of things. So um, I think it's a joy to watch um, Southampton games. Maybe they didn't win often enough as well because that's why they are in the position they are. But um, the football they play is at least always a very lively version of our wonderful game. And I like that. James from TalkSport, and then Carl Markham will be the final question in the open before we go to the um, we go to the uh, red card section. James, sorry. Jürgen, as you mentioned there, you lost to Southampton earlier this season, but you've won your previous six matches against them. What is the key to to beating this side, who you say are a joy to watch? To to be prepared in. in um, to be prepared for their defending, so their, 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 their midfield press especially. Um, you have to play in the right spaces because um, um, with their 4 4 2, they are all predictable passes, they defend really well. So you have to be from time to time unpredictable, that's really important. So you have to be cheeky as well, that's really important, brave. Um, you have to be ready for their counter press. If they, um, if they lose the ball, they go with all they have to win it back. We, we know how that works. We try to do that from time to time ourselves, but um, you, there's no no perfect thing in football. Um, so in this case, thank God, or sometimes for us, unfortunately, but um, if you outplay these counter-pressing situations, then if you're calm enough in these moments, clear enough, if the, the best, uh, the good enough overview, then you can use that, then you can overplay that, outplay that, and um, then you have more space than in other moments. So, um, yeah, you have to create 
um, from different angles on the pitch, because again, the, the, the system that plays clear, how can you get between the lines? Um, how can you break lines? That's very important. So it's a, it's a proper, uh, a few proper football questions. And um, that's, a, but we had now a full week to prepare it as well. So um, hopefully we can see that. Thanks, Jürgen. Thanks, Jerry. And the final question before we go to the embargo section is Karl Marker from Press Association. Hi Jürgen, can I just Hi. check um, on, on Nat Phillips' fitness? He wasn't available last weekend, but has the extra week means meant he's he's now ready? And because obviously that has an implication for where Fabinho plays sometimes. Yes, yes, the, the week helped him for sure, absolutely. So does that mean he, he is fit? Yeah, he was fit yesterday. <laughs> 